Alright guys, I am back with yet another episode of Star Wars Rebels Animated Series Season 3, Episode 10. Guys, this is my second video of the day, so I'm trying to crank these babies out for you. This video is titled, An Inside Man. Kanan and Ezra infiltrate an Imperial factory. Guys, I have no idea what's going to happen in this episode, but by the thumbnail, I can tell there's going to be some, some bad stuff that's going to happen. So if you're ready, I'm ready. And here we go. In 3, 2, 1. Present pure Colombian cocaine, ladies and gentlemen, disco shit. <laughs> hey guys, that's right, it's your boy Carolina Chris Two Six. Ryder said it was bad, but this is worse than that. The fall is my home, Ken. I can't stand seeing it like this. So let's do something about it. Oh, Ryder's going to be back on the show here. Yeah, okay. Looks like he's getting back in the fight like he said he was going to do. And yeah, man, uh, Ezra's home of Lothal is just being occupied by the Empire at this point. Get off! was tight bro that was a tight move they did right there i like that as we said Ryder, what's the plan here you know he says uh uh writer goes uh we just got to get him up to 190 and uh Kana goes does this thing go 190 he said just think fast thoughts the writer said he's got some inside people at work at the factory who actually build the empire's vehicles so they're rigging them to it kind of fuck up on them and they just killed two uh imperial soldiers so your parents would be so proud to see you now mr uh mr suma here i guess is the worker they, they got that's the inside man at the well, factory the other I believe. might agree to attack sooner than later he said that uh phoenix squadron is en enlisting the help of uh another cell to take out the em imperial factory i don't know do you have any manufacturing experience he also said that the empire is building a new weapon Governor Price and fucking Callus. And they got Imperial banners all over the place. It looks like fucking Nazi Germany, man. Must be the ones that being told us about. Look yeah, sharp. That's who she is. My visit is not an honor, however, but an investigation. Thrawn. Fucking Thrawn, bro. This factory malfunctioned at a rate far higher than that of others. Worker 5473, you were pressed into the... Thrawn looked dead at Ezra. Yes, sir. Didn't recognize After him because of the mask. Do you stand by your work? We don't have all day. That's Mr. Suma, uh, worker 5473. Thrawn's making him get on the bike to test his speed because he knows that they're rigging those bikes. And I guess he's wanting this guy to get hurt. Demonstration is not yet over. Whatever you build here, you will test personally. I expect your malfunction rates have dropped substantially. He told him, he's like, the bike's overheating, I need to shut it down. He said, no, this test is not over with yet. And he remote controlled, he fucking boosted the bike up. And it blew up and killed Mr. Uh, Suma. Damn. Look out! Troy, what is the matter with you? What? Report to maintenance. <laughs> he said, what? Nothing's wrong with me. He said, report to maintenance. He said, yes, sir. I actually understood Chopper that time. Uh, they started checking IDs, man. So they're like, we better get out of here before we get caught. So they're trying to split up. But they just ran into some troopers. <laughs> Guess they got some new trooper outfits. <laughs> Agent, victory and defeat are often determined by the smallest detail. For example, take this walker. Is this your work? He said there's a new section, Section 8-2, where they're building a new fighter. And uh, he told Governor Price he shouldn't have hired the locals. Oh, shit. He asked that guy, he says, have you, were you the one that expected this walker, inspected this walker? He said, yes, yes. He said, let's give it a test. And sure, as soon as it failed, dude was fucked. Yeah, they just jacked a, a, a droid for his uh, clearance code. And they're going to have Chopper go in there and download all the... The schematics and information himself, which he just did. And then Chopper electrocuted the droid. <laughs> like, Agent Cullis. It's the mark of the Phoenix Squadron. A 
creature of light rising in the flames, a symbol of their commitment to victory. It is that, and more. I see it everywhere, marking territory. It is a commitment, but to this world specifically. These rebels have an attachment to this place and will always return. Thrawn's got all that stuff around in there, like studying it. He's got pictures of Ezra, Sabine, uh, uh, Sabine's drawings, uh, the symbol of the Phoenix Squadron. And he knows about Kanan and Ezra, not who they are, but knows there's two people on the base that should be there. And he's assuming that they've already ditched disguises for new disguises, which they did. Thrawn, dude, Thrawn knows. They, they're running from the other troopers and ran into Callus and jumped on the elevator with him, but I don't think he knows who they are. Oh, he knows who they are. Cheek his ass. Cheek his ass. Well, listen to me. He did help Sabine. I'm Fulcrum. What the fuck? Yeah, right. You want us to believe that? By the light of Lothal's moons. The Kofrin. Well, he's Fulcrum? What? You know, I knew it. I said a long time ago that, that I believed that Callus was one day going to work with the Rebels, but I didn't know it was going to be like this. I didn't know he was Fulcrum. Like, what the fuck? You'll find a walker there, you can escape it. Now, oh, I just have to make this look convincing. Okay. <laughs> Ezra, what? Okay, it was like, Ezra, he's like, what? He said make it convincing. He's like, yeah, but I wanted to do it. He says, well, if he's with us, next time you'll get your chance. <laughs> like, what the Two ATAs. Should I send backup? Yes, Lieutenant. Let's play their game. <sighs> See, Chopper and Ezra didn't get on that walker. Now, Thrawn already knows. He knows. I think he knows. I don't know. I feel like he knows... Callus might be the, the mole inside the Empire right now. The way he talks, bro, he's like, dude, it's fucking... He's insane, but insane in a good way. Thrawn said, uh, dis discard the speeders. That, that walker is under uh, rebel control. Destroy it. And uh, Ezra thinks that uh, Callus set him up, but, but it wasn't. Let's crush them. Yo, I didn't know those big, I didn't know those big fuckers could like squat down like an animal, but makes sense. They didn't have a chance. We had a chance. <laughs> Pretty good chance. No, no, no. <laughs> they don't know that Ezra and him's in that bitch. <laughs> yeah, he told him he was like riders like Sumar, but he didn't make it, man. Walker just started coming out of fun fuck DJ blasting at him. They're actually building these in numbers. Our pilots won't stand a chance. And neither will the rebellion. Wait, wait, Callus is Fulcrum? I know, right? How did that even make sense? I know, right? Right? I must have recruited him. You know, accidentally. Well, apparently they got some new TIE interceptors that have shields on them. And uh, that's the secret weapon they were building in uh, Section 8-2. It's clear to me they had help from one within our Imperial ranks. This spy must be found! We must wait and watch. And when we find our spy, and we will find them. We shall turn them from an obstacle to an asset. Wouldn't you agree, Agent Gaddis? Your strategy is without flaw, Grana. I would have shit my pants right there, man. When he turned around, I was like, won't we, Agent Callus? No, 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 we gotta be calm and wait for them to show theirself. Because do believe we will find the traitor. They turned around and uh, uh, Callus like, won't we, Agent Callus? And Callus is like, your plan is without flaw, sir. Uh, can I go change my shorts now? shit and pissed at the same time literally any emotion that i would have had let me tell you i don't want to lose train of thought because i mean thrawn is a sadistic genius the guy's like you know he don't play checkers he plays chess and i'm actually just trying to learn how to play chess right now i know you gotta think moves ahead checkers is just like me, me, me. checkers is fucking for kids chess is another thing kids play chess i'm not I'm losing callus is fulcrum and now remember i said and i, I was guessing this but i kind of felt like it was going to happen especially after a few you know other characters. I kind of felt like the way the Empire is, man, when they get pissed at you, you know you're dead. Your number's up. When you fuck up, you know you're dead. Where else could you go? You gotta go with the, the people that could give you a good safe passage and hiding, which will be the Rebellion. Anybody against the Empire, that's who you need to fuck with. Anybody in between is screwed, because you gotta, you gotta be with somebody that's got some, some muscle. Now, Thrawn, I'm pretty sure he knows Callus might be the, uh, the snitch. Callus is probably thinking, yo, I gotta get the fuck out of here. So I'm assuming by the end of this season, we're gonna see Callus with the Rebels. Because he's got all this knowledge of the Empire. That tie interceptor with shields. That's the new weapon they were building. Thrawn is fucking real life. A guy like that, I'd probably shit my pants. I'd be like, look, I'm gonna kill this motherfucker before he kills me. That was a great, great episode. Callus, it looks like he's almost over into the Rebel side. I got a feeling by the end of the, end of the season, we're gonna see him with the guys. Zeb's cool with it. I think the rest of them will be cool with it. Fuck it. That's cool. Take care of be safe and uh may the force be with you master peace and don't forget to hit that like button